From solar powered cars to floating cell towers in the sky, scores of companies are working on technologies designed to build a more sustainable future. Here's some of the most exciting green tech trends we'll be keeping an eye on in 2025. We start things off with the Aptera, a super efficient three-wheeled electric vehicle powered at least partly by solar that's been working its way toward production for almost 20 years. I got to visit Aptera HQ in 2022 and ride in a few of the prototypes. Now the company has finally unveiled its production intent model, where the results of all those prototypes and testing have come together. Aptera has said it will be bringing its production intent vehicle to CES, and we can't wait to check it out in person. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss it. Aptera has also pledged to support the right to repair, something that in my opinion is an underrated sustainability feature that empowers users to purchase replacement parts for their tech, make their own fixes, and keep their devices in use longer. This takes some pressure off the parts of the supply chain tasked with extracting the raw materials, refining them, and ultimately manufacturing the goods. The right to repair movement is making some significant gains with the European Parliament saying every smartphone or tablet will need to have a user replaceable battery by 2027. Fairphone, a company known for making right to repair a key part of its business practice, has been selling its phones in Europe for several years, before the right to repair was the law. You can find a link to my colleague Andrew's Fairphone 5 review down in the description. I'll be watching to see which companies will make their products more repairable and long lasting in 2025. We're also seeing companies whose business is focused on cleaning up our shared natural spaces. The Ocean Cleanup has been removing trash from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch since 2021 and has deployed its interceptors to strategic locations around the world in an effort to stop plastic pollution before it reaches the ocean. We also got to see some cleanup technology being put to use in Lake Tahoe during our visit to EcoClean Solutions, including Bebot, a beach cleaning robot, and the Pixie Drone, which cleans the water, including aiding in the removal of invasive species. These devices are made by a company called The Serial Cleaners, which also produces a stationary trash collector and bubble curtain for directing the flow of debris to targeted collection points. These devices can also be useful in gathering data about what sort of trash is accumulating in a given location, which could help lobby for legislation and protections to prevent its release into that environment. This year, we also visited two companies working on building a more sustainable infrastructure. Vertigy is a company that's mission is about making green hydrogen more affordable. Hydrogen can be useful as a fuel source, a means of storing energy produced by renewables, or for agricultural applications. Green hydrogen is hydrogen that's produced by renewable energy sources, as opposed to hydrogen produced with the aid of fossil fuels. Vertigy's chief contribution to the green hydrogen industry is its modular scalable electrolyzers that are easily monitored, swapped, and repaired. Vertigy says it's aiming to make green hydrogen cost competitive with fossil fuels by 2030. While green hydrogen infrastructure is being built out on land, Sky is building out a different kind of infrastructure in the stratosphere. The company makes a high altitude platform system, or HAPS, that operates like a cell tower in the sky, capable of beaming internet directly to devices. Sky's HAPS uses helium to float to its operating altitude rather than having to be launched by fuel guzzling rockets the way satellites are. Sky's HAPS uses solar panels to produce the energy needed to stay in position over its target area. And the company says it's aiming to have its HAPS remain in the air long term as a new layer of infrastructure in the stratosphere. What green tech are you excited about in 2025? Let us know down in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time with the fam.